Here's my drawing of the heart. I have the SA node, the interracial, interracial trial uh, septum, and then the left bundle branch, AV node, AV bundle, right bundle branch, Perkin G fibers, and interventricular septum. Here's my drawing of an electrocardiogram, ECG for short, and you can see that. A typical ECG tracing, uh, well, the different waves that com comprise the ECG represent the sequence of depolarization and repolarization of the atria and ventricles. The P wave represents the wave of depolarization that spreads from the SA node throughout the atria and is usually 0 0.08 to 0 0.10 seconds in duration. The brief isoelectric period after the P wave represents the time in which the impulse is traveling within the AV no node and the bundle of is a short and the atrial rate can be calculated by determining the time interval between P waves and the period of time from the onset of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex is termed the PR interval which normally ranges from 0.12 to 0 0.20 seconds in duration. This interval represents the time between the onset of atrial depolarization and the onset of ventricle depolarization. If the PR interval is greater than 0 0.20, there is an AV conduction block, which is called a first degree heart block. If each impulse from the atria is still a bit, er, still able to be conducted into the ventricles, atrial and ventricular depolarization and repolarization are represented on the ECG as a series of waves. The P wave followed by the QRS complex and the T wave. The first deflection is the P wave associated with right and left atrial depolarization. Wave of atrial polarization is invisible because of low amplitude.